Do this at your own risk. This is major surgery. It's not for the lighthearted. Um, to disassemble the helix floor unit, first thing you want to do is take out all the screws and plastic washers on everything in the back here, except for the power supply, unless you're fixing the power supply. And then for the side panels, we have your Allen wrench. And this bracket comes off. Notice I didn't take these off because I don't need to. But the one up here, you definitely have to. And this pulls out. And voila, there's your power supply. And then we can get into the other part of, in my case, fixing the jog or joystick button again. And here's your power supply. This is going to be the first thing I'm going to disconnect here from this motherboard. Then I'm going to take the ribbon off and the card that you see here. I'm going to take that out from the inside. Uh, so it gives me slack to pull this board back and then out and up. And I can prop it and then work on it after that. Because all these guys stay connected to the whole thing on the back side. And you can see it's an extrusion aluminum. So there are a lot of fasteners that go into the extrusion there. So don't yank on anything. They're uh, set in there pretty good. You could break stuff. Now you can see the power supply here. I used a screwdriver to push the cable and separate the two so that the power supply cable is laying below but still connected on this end. Now we can see, using these standoffs, I can pull the whole assembly out of the sockets now. And then the next step is exposed itself here. It's got a cable. It's tied it in under here. And here's the card I'm going to remove. Uh, or not remove completely. Everything's going to remain glued and cabled. I don't want to undo any of the glue here. But these little standoffs take a little uh, pair of pliers and you pinch that and push it through. And then you can separate the card that sits on these uh, ribbon connectors. Now that the card is slid out of place, notice the connector that goes back here. One's volume and one's jog by my thumb here. So I have to unscrew the one of those to allow enough room to pull this entire circuit board upward. Now to give you another view from the back side here with the uh, headphone volume removed. You can see the long two white cables. That was kind of causing a tension point for me not to be able to pull the board up. And there's the daughter card that I have disassembled. Now the culprit I'm working on is right there, which is four screws I'll have to lift up to get to the jog switch or the uh, joystick. Here's the magic joystick that has all these great problems with the soldering of these wired connections. There's two screws down in here that you remove and then see if I can show it on the camera properly. Uh, it comes out because I've already taken the screws out. And then here is the device. And here's where I have to resolder. Um, a lot of use on this switch, let me tell you. I hope after I solder it all works, I'll let you know. I recommend magnetic screwdrivers because that joystick, the screws to put them back in there were a pain. Once they fall in here, it's, it's a mess. Anyway, the volume has to go back, and this is the headphone volume, which is weird because the master volume is so much smaller than the headphone volume. Something else is going on there. So that has to go in first, and then this piece has to come down and get slid back into the holes, and then I can process putting the card, the daughter card, back into the slot. Now, everything's done. We're going to test it, so we're going to go over to button four and five. Two, three, four, five. These two. Push them down. Power it on. That'll get us into diagnostic mode where we can see if it's going to work or not. So it's the first one, UFI, UI test, and if this button doesn't work, obviously you can't get into it. Uh, so here we have this one here. If you turn it left and right, you'll see down here numbers. Up and down. That's what I wanted to see. It's green. Now if you want to see left and right, there's left, right, up, down, spinning. And of course you can do the rest of these lovely tests. Uh, as you want. In case you've never seen the diagnostic screen, see there's touch and then there's push. And uh, so you can test a great deal of stuff on this machine. Uh, let me see here. This one, this one, this one. Save button. Turn jog. There we go. Bypass that blah blah blah. blah. I just like to mess with this. This one doesn't turn green. This just shows you everything. Headphone. So we're all good folks. Everything worked out. Um, I did have to do it twice though. So note to self, don't screw everything back in together. Just a few key things in case you have to go back in. It saves you a ton of time. Thanks for watching.